Hey, what's going on guys? It's Offbeat here and welcome back to another episode of Behind the Bars where this week I'm going to be talking about my new track, Friends Like These. So Friends Like These is basically a song about me and my mates and the very special relationship we've got whereby we love each other dearly but about 99% of the time we're probably just spent taking the piss out of each other. So the track's had a really great reception already and I want to say a big thank you to everyone who's liked and commented um, and I can also see by the comments that this has struck a chord with people which is kind of what I wanted. Uh, I've not really heard any songs like this about friendship before that kind of explore this angle of it uh, and I wanted, to, I wanted to do that basically because um, I think a lot of people can relate to it um, and I also just thought it was, uh, it was just a fun concept. So the way this track basically came about was, I mentioned in my last video uh, for Swingers Party that my friend Seer took me along to a swing night and it inspired me to start making music again for the first time in 10 years. Well, that same friend, Seer, actually put on a night at the time um, and I said to him drunkenly that if he invited me along um, and put me on the lineup, that I would prepare enough material to perform four tracks at his night in a month's time. So uh, obviously I regretted that hugely the next day and I kicked myself but uh, I stuck to it and I wrote enough material and I was able to go along to his night a month later and perform these four tracks. So one of them was about my friends and uh, it was a really, really heartfelt, sincere track about, about you know, my, my close mates and how they're like my family and how much I love them. Uh, and you can imagine how nerve wracking it was having not performed for 10 years to get on stage in front of all of these people there and basically bare my soul in front of them. Um, but it went really well, so it was, it was cool. But afterwards, one of my best mates, um, Molly, came up to me and asked her what she thought. And her response was, yeah, it was good, but a bit emo, wasn't it? So <laughs> you can kind of see what I've got to work with here. That's the kind of, uh, that's the kind of response I get from my mates when I try and be nice. Um, but she was quite right, you know. Uh, it was a bit emo, and that's not really what I'm about. So uh, it was really her saying that that prompted me to rewrite it and come up with this much more accurate depiction of what my friends are really like. So my favourite lyric in this song is, if I just smile and ask how you are, chances are good that you're just an acquaintance. And the reason I like that lyric particularly is for me that just sums up this whole concept. Uh, so basically in real life, if I'm nice to you and I'm polite to you, uh, it probably means I think you're okay. Uh, but if I'm really mean to you uh, and I take the piss out of you, then that means that we're proper mates. So the other bit that I particularly like about this, or at least wanted to explain, is the whole section about my friends drawing on my face when I pass out. And basically I've got a bit of a reputation of passing out when I've had a little bit too much to drink and it's become like a bit of a running gag amongst my mates to draw on my face. So you might remember in the song Just Click, there's a line that says, I'm conscious with a knob on my face isn't a great look. And that's based on this as well. But uh, yeah, basically over the years, there have been countless occasions where this has happened. Um, and you can see on the screen now, there's a few photos of these occasions. Uh, but there's one in particular that I thought I'd share with you just because I think it's really funny. And basically it shows me in 2003, uh, so a long, long time ago, uh, unconscious with knobs on my face in the, the classic pose. Um, but then the next picture was taken in 2010. Um, and the reason this is so funny is because that none of the people who were in the room in that first photo were in the room in the second photo. So literally a completely different group of people, uh, but they've managed to draw exactly the same things in exactly the same places. So that just kind of gives you a little bit of an insight into the kind of people that I'm drawn towards. So yeah, the point of this track isn't to complain about my mates in any way like that. Um, and I, as I say in the song, I by all means give as good as I get. Um, but really it's just to, to kind of celebrate that bantery, uh, teasing relationship that I know I and a lot of people I know have with their friends. And as I say, judging from the comments, I can see a lot of you guys have as well. So yeah, that's basically it for this Behind the Bars. Um, I hope you enjoyed watching it. And the last thing I would say is if you haven't already, make sure you come along to one of the Q&As over on twitch.tv forward slash I am offbeat. Um, and I can tell already that my, uh, my fans are pretty similar to my mates in that respect because there's a fair amount of uh, banter going on in those, in those chats already. So come along and check them out. Um, and yeah, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the track and I'll catch you guys very soon. Cheers.